In this video, I'll explain how to connect to Shopify from make.com. I'll show you how to create a basic connection so that you can interact with Shopify through all of the internal functions of make, but I will also explain how to create an app so that you can get an API key to call the API or the GraphQL API for Shopify. And that can be used for more complex automations. First off, in a scenario, you can just add in a Shopify module. Generally, you would have a different starting trigger like a Google Sheet or an Airtable base or something else. But for the moment, we're just keeping this very simple. So you can select any function you want here. You can create orders, you can create products, product variants, product images, and so on. I'm just going to select create a product and I'm going to select add, then select Shopify in this case. And then you need to add in your myshopify.com subdomain. So if your domain is xyz.myshopify.com, then you would just get rid of this last part and just type in xyz. In my case, this is my test Shopify store that I have here. So I'm gonna select save. And then a pop-up will show up that you will need to authorize. So make sure that you're logged into Shopify and then a pop-up will show up. So this can vary based on if you've already verified before it's prompting me to update so you'll either need to add an authorization or update your current one i'll select update now that's verified so i have a test store set up here and for product i'm just going to write test product when testing out these scenarios it's handy to just add in dummy data to start with but of course this will be a reference to a google sheet or Airtable or something else so let's start with that i'm going to select run once at the bottom left okay it looks like it was created i'll refresh the page here and there we go we have a test product setup you can use that approach for any of these internal make modules however it's quite different for the making an api call or making a graphql api call in this shopify article system that we've created we're creating blog posts from scratch and uploading featured images and in content images and youtube videos and sharing it all to social media but for creating the in content images I needed to use a custom API call to upload those in-content images. In that tutorial, I explained how to create that connection within your Shopify accounts. I'm just gonna to jump to that clip right now. To access the Shopify API from make.com, you need to go to apps and then app and sales channels, then select develop apps. From there, you need to press create an app at the top right. You can call this app anything, make.com app, let's say. There's not a whole lot you need to do here, but you just need to go into your configuration, go to configure. I selected read and write files as a scope for this, but you can check whatever scopes you need. Once you've selected those scopes that are needed for your integration, then select install app at the top right and select install. Then select reveal token once and copy that out and store it in a safe place. As is standard with these kind of API tokens, they're only ever shown once. From there, right click, add a module and go to Shopify. And at the very, very, very end, then you see this make a GraphQL API call. It's gonna connect that automatically. You're gonna to need to add a connection. So go to Shopify custom and private apps, add in your domain. So if it's xyz at myshopify.com, then add in xyz and add in your admin API access token here and press save. From there, you should be able to make GraphQL API calls to Shopify. If you want to see exactly how this automation works, then make sure to check out the link in the description to that video. And if you want to get way ahead with your automations, then check out the link in the description to our community. We'll get access to all of our automations, including the one in this video. We have excellent tech support within our community, and we also have weekly events where you can ask us questions in real time.